We are not just talking about ACT signs this week. We're talking specifically about 30 of the 36 points that you can earn in this section. You're gonna follow the recommended approach to earn those points by looking for the purpose, the method, and the results. You're gonna be looking at tables and graphs, and for variables and patterns, there are actually two patterns you're gonna be on the lookout for. It's very possible you'll see a direct relationship. So it's like when you have a bottle of soda sitting out in the sun, the temperature is increasing, so the pressure is in increasing as well. If you cool that bottle of soda down, then you are decreasing the pressure. So you have an increase and increase, and then a decrease and decrease. They move together. Conversely, you may have an inverse relationship. So if you had a box or a container and you have air molecules inside, if you smush or squeeze together those molecules, you are increasing the pressure. So you decrease the volume, increase the pressure. Increase the volume, you're decreasing the pressure. So that's an inverse relationship. Be on the lookout for those two. And then make sure you're taking a look at the question specifically and finding exactly where in the information provided is going to be your answer for that particular question. So we're gonna show you exactly how to do this with two of the most popular types of passages. There are seven passages all together. Three of them are going to be research summaries. Three of them are going to be data representation. And one is going to be conflicting viewpoints. There are a few more questions in research summaries passages than there are in data representation overall. So that's why there are 16 points versus 14 points. Starting with research summaries. Each research summary is going to include a series of experiments. And in the one we're looking at together, there are two experiments. In the intro information, you're going to be able to find the purpose. The method is going to be in the information provided for each experiment, and the results are often in tables and graphs. Here's the intro information. Go ahead and pause your video, read through this. Now that you've read through this, we know that you are looking for, in particular, the denaturation and renaturation of three different enzymes. Now you can even underline that so that you can be able, be able to spot it really easily. So, Another thing to keep in mind, too, is that oftentimes the purpose is going to be a verb. So deter to determine, to find, to discover, be on the lookout for that. So to determine denaturation, renaturation of three different proteins. Go ahead and pause your video so you can read experiment one. Now that you've read experiment one, you see that we have those three different proteins, our race, case, and haste, and you have heating and cooling. And the whole point was to figure out the temperatures at which you have denaturation and renaturation. So taking a look at the table, for race and case, you have particular temperature ranges for both. For haste, it denatures, but it does not renature. So once that protein unfolds, it doesn't come back together again. Now that we have a good idea of what's happening in experiment one, let's see how that's different from experiment two. Go ahead and read experiment two. For experiment two, you have an additional component. You have 10 milliliters of ethyl alcohol and this idea of solubility. So when we take a look at the results of experiment two, we want to figure out how does that match up with what was given in experiment one. Well, let's take a look at one of the enzymes in particular. And enzymes are types of proteins. So we have race, which is for its denaturation, we have from 135 to 145 degrees Celsius. So from 135, here's race. So right as it starts to denature, that's its peak. And then all the way down to 145, where it actually hits zero. And then at 135, it starts to pick back up. It starts feeling a little bit better coming back together. And then at 110, which is about here, it reaches its peak as well. And actually, the peak isn't nearly as high. So the highest level of solubility is right before it denatures. Same thing with case. Highest level of solubility is right before it denatures. So let's use that information for question number one. We have a fourth protein, which denatures between 115 and 130, and then renatures between 70 and 100. Based on what we learned from race and case, we know that its peak is right before it denatures, or right at that point. So let's make sure we're matching it up. Right at that point, this is figure one. So at 135, that's race. Case is about 155. Right at that point is its peak. So that would be 115. 
a lot of times we're going to introduce an extra element. The big rule to take away from this is that all of the trends follow the same pattern. There's not going to be any major surprise. We're actually going to use that to our advantage in another question. So just assume that all the patterns continue and all the patterns can be replicated, which in a real lab, obviously, that's not always going to be the case, but for ACT science, it most certainly is going to be. According to figures one and two, okay, well, we better have one and two ready. What would likely be the solubility of case in 10 milliliters of alpha al alcohol at zero degrees Celsius? We told you that you can assume that the trends will continue. So if we extend that line, we're going to go right to zero degrees Celsius, which is going to be over here. At that point, follow it up to figure out it's going to be right between 0 0.04 and 0 0.05. Answer choice G. So you can always assume trends are going to continue. Being able to count on that is going to mean points for you on test day. According to table one, which protein would go through denaturation at 140 degrees Celsius? Table one, here we go. Now use the power of your pencil. You can actually circle what you're looking for. It is very common to fall into a trap if you haven't practiced this ahead of time, but by test date, you're going to be a pro. You're looking for denature 140, not renature, because you can fall into a trap doing that. Denature 140. So take a look. Race, case, haste are none of them. Correct answer? Race. Right between 135 and 145 is 140. Make sure you match it up and you're looking in the right spot. So research summaries. Knowing the purpose, the method, and the results, looking for trends, and matching up the information among experiments, following patterns, assuming that they're going to continue, all that means points for you.